this is Jazz bringing you another My Opinions video. I will say this is a redo of what I pr previously done because there were some updates and situations like that. Now before I start this My Opinion, there's a few things I want clear. One, everyone doesn't feel the same way about something, so take this with a grain of salt. And two, I haven't been confirmed on the autism spectrum yet. I was quarter confirmed by one psychiatrist, but I never got to see him a second time, so I'd rather do a proper evaluation and then say whether I have it or not, but I still have my opinions about the autism spectrum. Now, this is not going to be any of those situations where I talk about individuals in autism in any sorts. Well, okay, that that will be brought up, but it will not be the main focus. My main focus is mostly on things that are said in the autism community. Some I agree with, maybe. Most of them I don't. First things first. Vaccines cause autism, or are linked to autism. Now, I disagree with that theory. The reason I disagree with that theory is that my belief is that some people have autism, some people don't. That is as simple as that. And the only any the only way I could see any connection with that is that some individuals might have a different type of immune system, different like a different like everyone's body is different. That's the best way to say it. Maybe some people can fight off this connection, or most people can, I guess, fight off this connection, and some people can't. But I don't even think that's true. But that's the only way I could see any link to it. It isn't the vaccine's fault. It is just not. Alright. Second thing. But probably one of the biggest peeves of this to me. Next to the last one. You don't look autistic. Okay, now, I know some people might say, try to say this as a compliment, but even when, with that said, it shouldn't be said, because there, everyone is different. Everyone on the spectrum, anyone in the whole world is different. So just because someone may not be flapping their hands or have a monotone voice or has just a set look on their face does not mean they're not on the autism spectrum. There are some individuals that have, some males that have high-pitched voices but have social awkwardness. Like, and, and one thing is, one big thing to show and to say about this is that girl Okay, male and female autistics are different in a lot of ways. But, same thing goes. Some males are extremely high-functioning, and you may not know, but they still have it. But my point is, let's just say someone was looking at the monotone voice thing. That would not apply to females, because females usually have a, a horse or a childish voice. Sort of like myself. So, like, that's one thing, but even with that said, you can't just look at someone and judge whether they have a disability or not. Like, I mean, I know, as I said, I know some people meet it with a good intention, or say, oh, you look really well together. But if you were to comment an individual on the spectrum, just say this. You are very well put together for someone with autism, or you are really good at this. Don't say you don't look autistic, because a lot of people, especially parents and individuals, take offense to that. I'm not saying everyone does. Some people are good-natured about it, and that's fine. But that really isn't, in my opinion, an appropriate thing to say, because 
some people may actually have to work, but not everyone, and the majority of them don't. So, just think before you say that. Or think of another way to say it without putting any offense to it. One of the final things that bugs me about, like, things that are said, I'm so sorry. What a sin. Like, really? Okay, I understand that when a parent first gets a diagnosis for their kid as autistic, then it's scary because you don't know how, you, what, how your child is going to live. And that's fine to feel that way at first. But for individuals who don't know this person, or like the family especially, and they don't know what type of person the kid that they're saying is a sin is, or shame is, they don't have the right. Because there are many individuals on the autism spectrum who have great talent. And I'm going to say these names because one, one of these guys said it wasn't a problem talking about him anyway. The guy who makes the man guy love, Fam the Lost Soul, James E. Raven, he recently came out as having typical autism. And he has great talent. He's making money from doing things he loves. Well, sort of. I mean, it's, go, it's, it's still coming off from the ground, but he has great potential to make a decent amount of money with his talent. And as I said, I'm not bringing him up too much, but I'll bring that I suspect N Man 64 might be somewhere there, whether Asperger's or high functioning. I don't know. I could be wrong and I apologize. But he has great talent. He loves what he does. He is great with his commentary and with video games. Septile Gamer. He's also a great Let's Player who has autism and has a lot of passion for his work. The guy, there's a sim, I think it's Shrill Simmers. He does a whole bunch of stuff on sims. He has autism. And he brings himself out a lot in his videos. The Mysterious Mr. Enter. He has Asperger's Syndrome. And yes, some people may say, oh, that is not autism. You know what, guys? This, that's another thing I'm adding to this list, a mini segment in here. No matter what you say, it sort of is. Yes, it may not be in the definition anymore in some areas, but people who have been diagnosed with this disorder and been told that it was a form of autism are now like being blatantly lied to. So, in my opinion, it always is a sort of it. A much higher functioning form of autism, but it is. But he does amazing work with reviews and countdowns on cartoons and even some animated cartoons. And trust me, I model from him in a way. Just like I model from N Man 64. I don't copy, blatantly copy his style, but I look up to him as a let's player. So some people in general I look up to and so you should not just say I'm so sorry. What a sin. This is a tragedy. Because, yes, there are some individuals with autism that aren't so lucky. A majority of the community have some sort of talent. Another big person I'd like to talk about is Carly Fletcher. I forget the la I can't pronounce her last name. Carly Fletcher. She, for 11 years of her life, was labeled as not only low functioning autistic, mentally slow, I'm not saying the R word, like it is the R word, incapable, 
she turned out to be one of the more, most brilliant individuals you could meet. All she needed was a way to communicate, which was technology, the computer. And her parents always loved her, but especially once her coming out, they she's gifted. And she isn't a sin. So even those who are nonverbal can have potential. So you shouldn't just before you say something like that, at least think in mind how, how does the parent feel about it? Because they could see their child as a gift with potential. So I know some of you mean well when you say certain things like that, but as I said, keep in mind it could really hurt the individual and it might not be true. So, someone with autism has plenty of talent, can be empathetic, just is handled differently, can, some can even find a significant other, not everyone maybe, but some can. They can do almost anything anyone else can do with just a bit of assistance. Me, I know I am talking a lot for myself. But I know a far more individuals on the spectrum who have great potential, are leading great lives from what I see, and one whole spectrum should be judged for one whole spectrum. That's why they call it the spectrum. So that is just my opinion on all of it. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this my opinion, give it a big thumbs up. I make videos every single day. If you're new to this channel and you like what you see, please subscribe because it would help me a whole lot. And I will see you guys in my next video.